Well, welcome to Education and Digital Culture. So in this course, you're going to be exploring the nature of digital culture and its impact upon education. Now, we have 12 weeks together. My name is Dr. Jason Zagami, and I'll be leading you through this adventure. And each week, you will have four modules to work through as coursework, which will involve some text from myself, um, a little video clip explaining the context for the content for that, for that module, and a set of readings. Now, the readings you're not expected to delve into in depth for every reading. I would like you to have a look at every reading, and if it's a, a book, look at the chapter, or the chapter headings, and see what the gist of the book is about. If it's an academic paper, look at the abstract, maybe the introduction and conclusion, and just get a understanding of what that paper is about, just so that you'll be able to participate in the discussions during tutorials when we delve into these issues in greater depth. Now, some issues you will have an interest in. Now, we're going to be covering dozens and dozens and dozens of issues, so I don't expect you to be passionately interested in every single one. But by the nature of you having enrolled in this course, you should be interested in some aspects. And these you'll be able to delve into in greater depth using the readings provided and your own research. And you'll be able to come to our discussions in tutorials and contribute as an expert in that particular aspect of the course. Now, likewise, as we lead into your assessment, you will have an opportunity to explore a particular issue in greater depth and develop that and demonstrate that in your first assessment task. In your second assessment task, I will be giving you a particular aspect of digital culture and education to explore in depth, and that will be computer games in education. And we'll collectively explore that particular issue in greater depth. But for the first assessment and for the first part of the course, you have an opportunity to explore your own particular areas of interest and passions and develop a complex understanding of how it relates to digital culture and how that impacts upon education. So each week you'll have four modules to work through and part of that will involve some posting to teams on particular issues that you found interesting. You'll have the readings to delve into. There'll sometimes be little quizzes and other active learning activities that you'll um, engage with. And then in the tutorials, we'll discuss these in greater depth. Now, it is possible to do the course without attending the tutorials, but active learning theory and particularly social constructivist learning theory really shows that coming together and discussing and unpacking and working with your peers and with myself and exploring issues together can greatly enhance your learning experience. That said, you won't be penalized by doing it on your own. It's just that the course is designed to make use of our discussion times. And that is certainly where most students find the greatest benefit. So as part of that, you should also have your video camera and microphone working so that again, we can make the best use of those discussions and collaboratively work together. And part of that involves body language and expressions and so forth. So I really encourage you to have your uh, webcams working and your microphone working so that we can actually have real robust discussion about the topics. The tutorials are not lectures. We won't be going back over the course content and delving into that as a lecture type presentation from myself. That's provided in the um, course content in the modules each week. And then discussions after that, where we actually discuss and unpack things in the tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you at our first tutorial.